Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to the weekend. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to you. <laughs> Welcome to the cats. <clears throat> yeah, they're around. I brought down some treats, there. so they're mulling around. They think they think something's something exciting is going to happen. Something's amiss. Yes. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing the next installment of the uh, third annual Atari homebrew awards the nominees because yeah. we like playing through them all <clears throat> so everybody out there knows uh what they're in for when they're voting mm. so if they don't have time to play they can watch or us play, play for a little bit game? Yeah. or play every single game yeah because yeah. there's a lot of games um <clears throat> so tonight we're gonna be playing the atari 2600 completed uh oh i have the wrong notes but completed <laughs> uh original <laughs> nominees which includes a uh, best original game Best original uh, music and sounds, mm. and best original graphics. Mm. So these are games that are not ports. They are new creations by nice. people. <clears throat> so we have 10 games, because yeah. there's three categories, six each. There's some crossover. Mm -hmm. And Atari has joined us. Hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who support the show. Uh, Alna for Arms Car Coder, Catalogs, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan, if you see Drexel, Goku, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Ozier Rapper, Johnny WC, Juan Urato, Carl G, Mark Space Inc., M, Mick Muse, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rab, VG, Cohog, RC70, Repentless, VG, Recorded Pim Scum Software, Six Sweet, <clears throat> Huh. You're having a rough day today. <laughs> I need some water. Smitty yeah. B, S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Welshman Thrust, T Dan K, and Trek MD. Yes. And uh, you can support the show too and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Floof Monster Warning. Yeah. Ah, watch out. He's floofy. <laughs> he is. He's a monster. Oh, he's not a monster. No, he's, he's a cute. lovable monster. He's full of love. Yes. And make sure you follow and link, uh, subscribe and do all the things on all the social media. Ah. No, okay. Wrong. Yeah, drink some water. <laughs> and thank you to everybody watching, including mm -hmm. Smitty B. Where's my mouse? Crossbow, Dan AVC, Metal Lunar, Miss Command, uh, Ground Trooper, Flacket, Omega Matrix, Thingamum, Thingam Bob, Thingam yes. Bob Bob. Not thingamabob, thingambob. Yeah, that's right. Uh, MCP90. Yes. Packer VG. Mr. Vocelli. Flackets? Armscar Coder. Captain Classic, Al Nefer, and everybody else Yay. who's watching without typing. Thank you for joining. Um, I have some mail. It's time for the news. Mm -hmm. Time for the mail. What's in the package? Woo! It's like a present. It's a. I love it. It's a present. <laughs> a present you've paid. You've already <laughs> paid for it. That's right. A present I bought myself. Armscar Coder's game. Yes. Was supposed to come today. Oh. It was scheduled. Yeah. For today. Yeah. Every single other person he has sent it to has got it. Uh. Well. Welcome to. Uh, yeah. Canada Except Post. for me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see where it says. It said it was supposed to be today. Yeah. Uh. It's. Still says expected delivery January twenty second. In transit, I'm... well, you never know. Yeah, I've seen you up to a... ten p.m. Slam, 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 ding dong. It's <laughs> happened. It has. Yep. Uh, but we'll today we'll we have see. this. Let's see what it is. Ooh. It's a shirt. Yay, t-shirts. It's a t-shirt. What kind of t-shirt? Because he needs more t-shirts. <laughs> Don't even. I mean, there we go. Oh, nice. It's an exploded view of a uh, four switch. Nice. Uh, 2600. Very yeah. cool. So I'll, I'll wear that um, next episode. So I won't step out. Nice. No, it's nice. Maybe I'll step out during a game you're playing. And, oh, okay. Put you it can. On. Yeah, and then people can. Uh... The sizes have been getting bigger, and I have to order smalls now. And even that seems like. Yeah, okay. It seems large. Yeah, it seems a little large. Seems like yeah. a medium. So I'm going to have to order extra small soon. But not yet. But you not haven't yet. changed an actual size. I mean, that's the no, thing at the end of the day. It's, it's the, the clothing sizes have, have started changing. just keep on shifting more and more. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, you order them and they... Why? Yeah. I don't know. Why? <laughs> it's just annoying. Um, last show, I showed that uh, I got the Pokey Chip in mm. the mail. Mm. And I have now installed it. 
on the concerto Very cart. Very nice. I haven't put the label on yet because I'm not going to do that till I'm secure that everything is, is how you want it. Yeah, is working and perfect. Yeah. So far, so good. Um, I have put up uh, a little post showing the installation of it. Uh, we're going to take a look at that briefly. Boom. Um, so everybody saw that last episode. There's the chip. IMP8322 FQA came mm -hmm. out of an Atari computer, apparently. There's the board it goes into, the concerto cart. Um, that's my initial push on it. And then I tried to put the case back on and it wouldn't fit. So I'm like, I don't think it's quite down enough. Oh, I see. Right? It wasn't seated all the way. But that, that was like forceful i was like yeah okay that's as far as it's gonna it's gonna go yeah, you I've get never, scared after a while I, cramming yeah, things in yes yeah. i did buy it from best electronics yes. actually. i had the business of one you get one <laughs> one chip and then you go away yes no soup for you <laughs> and um then i looked up pictures of properly seated chips and yeah. then i went okay it's got to go in a lot further so i pushed and pushed and it went squeak mm. <laughs> and it went in mm. one side went in then i pushed the other side mm. Tried to push both at the same time, mm. but I was like freaking out. I was like, oh no, another ruined chip. Mm. Um, so that's what it looks like now, good. all seated. And the and the case did go on properly. Oh, so. good. So it's all... It's all contained within here. Excellent. And Are we I've... trying it for the first time on no, the stream? No, no, no. no. That's, that's <laughs> next episode when, okay. we're, when we're showing the 7800 nominees. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. So, so we'll you have it just that. in time then. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping everything Fate's would line up for that. Yeah. Um, and there it is in the top view nice. and you can this is in the uh, zero page homebrew club I post a lot of things oh there. nice yeah 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 um, actually I just posted something today and I've been trying uh, pokey and concerto compatibility because I want to make sure that all of the games work properly and the oh. concerto is a uh, work in progress okay it's not it's still in beta okay so there's still you know, bugs being worked on. And, things, yeah. and of course, also the developers mm. are now getting the concerto and they're making their games compatible with it because and that... the Pokey's address in this is different than the address in other things. So they have to spe specify to, to play where... the music through, through... that chip gotcha. at a certain spot. Mm -hmm. um, so I went through all the homebrew games that have Pokey chips. Mm. that use pokey and i categorize them as fully working partially working no pokey sound at all or it's just not even on the board yet it mm. doesn't it doesn't it's not applicable mm. and exo is one of those is not applicable because it doesn't work in the concerto not card. yet okay. concerto card doesn't support that game mm. because the bank switching the size of the game is, is too big for the concerto right mm. now <clears throat> But maybe in the future it might... It's possible. Yeah. It's okay. possible. Um, so the ones that work, I also tested the two games that, back in the day, um, came out with a Pokey chip installed in the game themselves. Mm. Of course, Ball Blazer is one of those, and that's the destroyed chip that I did. Oh, yes, yeah. Um, and Commando is the second one. Mm. And both of those are fully working, as far as I can tell. They sound fine. Okay. Um, some other homebrews that work completely, as far as I can tell. Maybe a node is wrong or something's weird, but, but it seems it seems totally fine from from what I can tell. Beef Drop, um, Bentley Bears Crystal Quest, Froggy, Miss Pac Man three twenty, Pac Man three twenty, Pac Man Collection, Pac Man Plus three twenty, Super Circus Atari, and Serpentine. And funny enough, Serpentine has that same issue that we encountered in Night Guy on board, where they don't specify to make oh, the background black so it, it comes up a different color so the whole game's in white background oh that's funny. and it looks really strange oh okay okay um but um it works it yeah, works fine the game the is sound, functioning i'm only testing sound yeah, yeah 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 and serpentine was put out a while back so i don't know if mm. they'll bother putting mm. an update so it works in concerto mm. but that's like a thing that you have to think about like I guess but it works perfectly on the actual console because it starts black every time. Who who should be making the adjustment though, the game oh. de developer or the concerto card itself, mm -hmm. so that it starts black in, instead of white? Because this seems mm -hmm. to be an issue with multiple games. The con I, the program of the concerto card, yeah. the firmware, um, could 
change it to black before it runs a game. Yeah. And that would fix that. Yeah. That might be something you want might want to do. Because if there are a number of games where well, it's two that's an issue, I don't yeah. know how many. Of, yeah. There are probably more. <sighs> then, then that's a possible like little beta fix that, that could be put in there. I mean, for it's, the developers. It shouldn't be that the concerto card should do that. Yeah. It should be you should always define everything yeah. in a game. Not yeah. assume that it's going to be black, but actually set it to black yeah yeah but uh oh carl g says definitely the cart should be fixed yeah. ultimately they have a bunch of special versions. yeah because otherwise they're a bunch of games you're yeah. not going to play so going back now yeah what can you do some yeah. of these people are not going to update their games yeah. Yeah. right so uh might as there's no there's no raw bad reason to yeah. say set to black before yeah. running a game it's not going to mess anything up no um going forward yeah unless the people no, because everybody's assuming it's black. Anyway, yeah. um, some that are partially. It's interesting. It's interesting when you find some stuff like that where you're like, "Oh, yeah. the assumption was black," you know, like. <laughs> and then, yeah, and, and then, then it's you find not. Out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Crossbow says, "I've never had the game do that to me." Odd. Mm. Well, it's, it's Serpentine and Night Guy on board are the mm. two that I have found that have are that just issue. white all the time mm. on the first screen. When Night Guy on Board goes to the next screen, he it, it actually sets it to black. Sets it to and black. It is black. It's just the intro screen yeah. that's an issue. Just the intro screen. Yeah. Cool. Um, which he knows about and he's going to update. Mm -hmm. So all the rest of the games, um, Donkey Kong, Galaxian, Miss Million Molly, Popeye, Arkanoid, Danger Zone, po Pokey Kong, all have various issues, um, which all of the developers know about. Oh, okay. They've, they've talked about it on the thread. Okay. Or I personally talked to them about it. Because you were showing me Popeye and, and just every, a couple of spots. The Some notes that are out go of Go sour or something? It's funny, yeah. The partially working ones, it's all pretty much the same kind of issue. Oh, okay. Where some of the notes go are out of tune. Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of good that they're all having the same issue. Yeah. Um, so it might be a common thing and most likely it points to the thing they all use rather than them all having the problem, right? So it's probably the concerto firmware yeah, or, or my pokey chip because I was going to say, could it be your pokey chip? Yeah. Cause I've not made any assumptions here yeah. of, uh, because other people, the pop Popeye works just fine on their concerto oh. and their pokey. So I'm like, yeah. is it my pokey that would suck. chip? Is it something's not my in there concerto properly? cart? Yeah. Like I don't know yet. Yeah. Well, you'll figure it out, I'm sure. So who yeah. knows? Um, we'll see. And there's no pokey sound on some, which is like, yeah, they know, mm. because it has has to be it has to know where the pokey chip is mm. and go. It's there. Play the sounds there. Mm. So Arkanoid, um, Danger Zone, they both they both know that. Mm. And Pokey Kong is an old game. I doubt they're gonna update that. So it doesn't mm. matter. Um, and all of these seem to work just fine on uh, the browser emulator, mm. uh, JS7800. Mm. So, who knows? We will see. Mm -hmm. We will see. Uh, could be. Uh, could also just be more fun with all the variants of the 7800 that creates no end of fun for the hardware mm -hmm. devs. Yeah, it could be my 7800 as well. Mm. Because you you see in the... Uh, mm -hmm. Somebody... Uh, Thing Bob. Bob is now following. Yay. Thanks for following. Uh, thingam Bob. Um, <laughs> if you look in the concerto thread, yeah, where people are discussing things, um, there's various issues that people are having, mm. um, and they're all trying to figure it out and fix them one by one. Yeah. And I think there's a firmware update looming very, very soon mm. for the concerto. So we'll see how many of these get fixed, and we'll we'll just see. We'll see. Mm. Um, the next thing, oh yes, uh, the dragonfly cart. Um, some more people have been crossed out, and now I'm <gasps> oh. seven away <laughs> from getting mine. I'm nice. number fifty-four, nice. and number forty-six I love how has you're been sent. Counting it down, well, counting it down. Might as well. Uh, hey, happy Happy Friday, zero pagers Yay. from Metal Inner Seven. Um, I'm guessing the crossed out name means he. I didn't want to jump to that. Uh, 
That's okay. Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> what is going That's on? That's okay. That's okay. There we go. I don't know how it popped out. Nope. Oh, it, it moved down screen. That's what was going on. Um, so I am seven away. It's on number 47 is the next person. Yeah. And I'm number 54. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nobody's reported dragonfly issues. Um, <laughs> it uh, has a dual pokey mm. and a Yamaha chip in it. Oh, wow. So it has three sound, three sound cards mm. in it. So it's going to be interesting. Mm. But it has the on-screen um, buttons to, okay. to scroll through the games. So if I ever play a game on that, I have to go over there and move through things and uh, press fun. buttons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crossed out means it's paid for and shipped. So it's mm. on its way. Mm. So he doesn't actually uh, specify... Oh, Mighty Funster got right to the top there. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Synth Palooza, I know yeah. that name. He does and a lot of music. Muddy Funster's number two. Yeah, and S. Then Ramirez, S. Ramirez, number Ramirez, four. of course, right at the top. Um, uh, Fulton Bot, yeah. know that name. Crossbow, who's yeah. talking right now. Number, <laughs> He's number right 13. Up there too. All yeah. the people who got Gray ahead Defender, of you in line. Yeah. Daryl1970, who nice. makes Pac Man. Uh, Popeye, sorry. Nice. Um,. Yeah, yeah so some people got in earlier than me. That's okay. I, I didn't jump in quite as early as <laughs> I should have, I guess. Uh, don't forget the Kovox support is also available for the DF card. Mm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so I'll have to look that up. Mm. Hey, Arena Foot. Um, developer Spotlight coming up. Just confirmed. Bob De Crescenzo, nice. Pac Man Plus on nice. the Atari Age Forums. Good stuff. Is coming up in a few months. Pa uh, Bob Decker Azenzo does Baby Pac-Man, okay. Bentley Bears Crystal Quest, uh, Pac-Man Collection, 40th Anniversary oh, Edition. That's a Pac-Man game <clears> to play. Yeah, Super Circus Atari, Uniwars, and he recently put out Galaxian. Um, so nice. there's a lot to cover. Like, nice. that's a small, small portion of the games he's nice. made. He concentrates on 7800, but he's got a long history mm. of creating games. So th I don't know when that's going to be. It's going to be, obviously, well after the Atari Age uh, Awards. Atari yep. Homebrew Awards. Yeah. Atari Age. They're, they're supportive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it takes me a while to get all the information and mm. prepare for that. So March, April-ish. Around that, mm. I would say. Uh, Ground Trooper's so far down the last oh, 116. Oh, no. You'll get there eventually. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> way. Jumping on way late, hey? <laughs> yeah, I don't know any of these other names down here. Yeah. Oh. That's probably the one I know. No, I don't know. Revan Tully. <laughs> like, who do I know in the <laughs> list? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, so today we're going to move on with the Atari 2600 completed games. Mm -hmm. And the first one up is one of versus one baseball by Edward Smith. E.A. Yes. E. Yes, Smith. Yes, yes, we yes. haven't played this one in a long time. I feel like we played this not long ago, but uh, my memory in this pan pandemic, it's like, <laughs> they all blur we did that last week. We did that six months ago. Oh, really? <laughs> this is a two-player game. Ready. Yeah. So I'm going to move the cat. Oh, cat. Get out a second joystick. Okay. Oh. I don't I need my fancy... <sighs> EA Smith Sports. <laughs> it's yeah. in the game. Yeah, he's he's done a huge line of sports games. Oh. Let's see if I can remember all of them. Uh, one was uh, Pickle, which is a kind of a backyard sports mm. game where it's not like a full sports game. Um, he's done baseball mm -hmm. which we're playing Man, i can't remember them all that's an issue <laughs> there we go all right um yes that is the correct one jump into it not the readme <laughs> you can jump into the readme yeah i think this does display text files or is that the uno card i have so, no idea nice little title screen there with yeah. the baseball um, I did print out the instructions because I knew we were going to uh, his mm -hmm. his game is usually quite detailed in what you can do in the game. Mm. So there's lots of options. Um, oh, there is a one player. Okay. Mm. Do you want to do two player? We should do two player. Yeah, we should probably do two player. 
Um, right difficulty on A. Go for it. So the right player controls the blue. So I am pitching. Okay. So batting. Um, nine possible locations. Down, middle, high, high inside. So it's probably just all the different directions, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. And, you know, nothing for straight down the middle. Um, mm. Yeah, swing low, push down while pressing button. Swing high, push up pressing the button. Button only is level swing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty straightforward. Pitching. There's a one second delay after each hit, so pitch will not register then. Push up to select fastball, down to select off speed. Next, select the location. So I'm going to do up. I'm just going to telegraph. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. That's... So it made a sound. And then select the location of the pitch by holding the joystick in the desired direction. So I'm going to pitch straight down the middle. Okay. Fastball. And then press the button. Ready? Yeah. Oh, out. Switch to the outfield. And I hit the button, right? Like. Uh Oh, yes. Yeah, button button when you want to swing. Okay. Hey, settle down. Okay, I'm going to do a fast again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and straight down the middle again. Way too early. Nope. That was a strike. Uh, there we go. And... Oh, I, oh, yeah, this doesn't have outfield. It just depends on how you hit it. Yeah. Is how many bases you get. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's it. Easy. Okay. So. Is it? <laughs> well, we'll so see. what are my options? Up, down. Um, just, how do how do I do it though? Do I I have to hit the button and the direction at the same time, or do I I don't I, pick it like like you do? I think before you press a button dictates where it's going to hit. So if you think it's going to be somewhere, so I go there. Blink. As soon as you press okay. a button, it's it's set. So what are the directions again? Oh, it's just in, out, up, down. It's all the nine. One versus one is not a team baseball game. Love the Rainbow Horizon. Oh yeah, it's great. Okay, ready? No? Yes? Ready? Mm, the pitch will either be a fastball or off speed. Nine possible. Middle. It's just all the different directions. There's nine. But why would I have a back? Like, what? Am, what no. is the direction I'm controlling? Think of, it, think of it as a box. If you're up there, that's where the ball is. There, that's where the ball is. You move up. There, oh, there, right? I see. Okay. Not behind you. You're not. Well, just... no, because yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. It's not a backhand in no, tennis. No, that makes sense. Okay, ready? Well, no, I know that. <laughs> I I was going Foul going ball. to say I didn't understand the box like where I was hitting it, right. but it's a box, it's and a that box. makes sense. Yeah. Ooh, oh, out. out. I caught it. Lies. <laughs> Strike. Oh, I bet that's out. Yeah. Out? Because I caught it. It was no, too too didn't. much of an arc. <laughs> it's my oh, turn? Yeah. So what, what are the options again? It's uh, up for fast, down for off speed, and then it's same box thing as, as you pitch, as you batted. That looks like it could also be a one versus one cricket. It, it is... I mean, there's only so many. Oh, that's, that was not what I... Confused. Push up. Up for fastball. Don't press the oh, button. Oh, I see. And then, and then you press the direction okay, you want it to. Okay, that makes more sense. Ah. Oh, come on. <laughs> I got that one. Oh my god. At least I'm hitting them. Oh, it was down the center. Oh, is that high and up? Was that to the right and up? No, that was centered. Was it? Okay. Or actually, no, no. I think, I, yeah, no. I think it, it ended up high and up. Because I hit it center. Yeah. Oh, come on. Get it, get it, get it out. Yes! Three nice. bases. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be Ooh, one, one base. base. Well, you got, you got, uh... Got an end then. Yeah. Nice. 
No. We like a decent cricket game. Oh, sorry. Distracted sorry. me. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Baseball, most baseball games had the hitter on the bottom of the screen and the pitcher on the top. Oh, mm -hmm. that's true. You're, you were the perspective of, of, of the batter. Yeah. I guess, why not? This works too. Like there's no reason to have one or the other. Mm. Oh, my Back turn. to you. Really early. Ooh, 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 whoa, yeah. three bases. Nice hit. Nope. This is pretty full featured for um, oh. for pitching and for hitting. What? Didn't even, didn't even bat. Too late. Oh, too early. Come on. Nope, nope, none of that. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> he likes to chew a very specific cable. <laughs> and it's the HDMI cable. Shadow on the ball is impressive, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I didn't even see that. Oh, it is. That really love. It, I mean, you need the shadow on the ball to know mm -hmm. how close it is. Ooh, mm. two outs. For another out. Oh, look how low that was. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. You good? Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm Excellent. good. Excellent. Yeah. It is cool. It is it's, cool. The dynamic it, is it good. It really concentrates on the pitching and the batting. Yeah. Which which is nice. Yeah. And and uh, don't look over at your person the, the person next to you's joystick because that basically gives away which uh, way yeah, they're, they're that they're is at. true. Yeah. Oh, it is an Atari, and he just went on my lap just yeah. as I was getting ready to do the next game, and then oh, he moves over. Oh, 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 he's like, my turn. It's my turn to play one-on-one -on -one baseball, please. On. Move your butt. No, no, no. Move your tail. Oh, okay. He's like, I want to play against Pixel. I will kick <sighs> his bum. Next one, Asteroids Attack. By Ricardo Pym. So, um, one on one baseball, what was it nominated for? I was just reaching for that. No kidding. It was nominated for um, Atari 2600 Homebrew Completed Original Best Graphics. Nice. Obviously. It is really very, nice. Very really nice graphics. Nice. And somebody yeah. commented on the rainbow background, yeah. the shadow on the, yeah, uh, on the, the baseball, yeah. the pitcher, and the batter are both very big sprites. Yeah. So it's it's really impressive. So uh, load this up. Asteroids Attack by Ricardo Pym um, is nominated for uh, best game, best music and sound. Did I click on the right one? Yep. Asteroids Attack. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, QR codes on the Atari. Yeah, I guess you wow. go to their uh, website. There. There's a very big I love QR the, code. I love the uh, font at the beginning there. Yeah, the slanted font yeah. in red. It's really, really nice. And uh, that's what the ships have uh, to fly. So, oh, that's loud. Oh my god, everything is loud. Nobody told me. Hey, I just enjoyed the music so much. Oh, what did I hit? Uh, I don't know. Didn't see. Oh yeah, you can go forward and back a little bit, can't you? Hey, Ricardo Pim is in the chat. Uh, yes, physical cartridges of 101 Baseball are available at Good Deal Games. And this game is also coming out on um, cartridge as well. So you have to uh, hit, you have to shoot. Oh, I can't remember, you have to shoot everything? As much as you possibly can. Be, yes, because they go to Earth they and destroy, hit Earth. They destroy, they hit Earth, yeah. Yeah. But obviously, so you, you, do your you, best. you also you don't want to die. Yeah, you can't so. hit everything, so it gives you a lot of leeway. But uh, it's better that you let some... So you want to get that. Oh, oh I... So there was... Ah, oh, I was avoiding the uh, missile that was coming after me there. And at the every end of every level, so hopefully you can make it to the end of the level, is, is a big kind of... I'm not playing very well. <laughs> no. Still, I'm Do not fine. sacrifice yourself. No. And if you notice, every ship is a different color. 
Yeah. Because they're actually different ships. Like in normal games, you think it's you every time, right? Yeah. No, these are these are is, is a convoy just... of ships that are sent to protect Earth. Oh, left difficulty. Oh, some. Right difficulty. There's the music. Oh, died there. Someone was kind of up the stairs, but uh, I was like, maybe it's the, maybe it's the delivery. It still could be. There's been so many delivery people that don't even knock. They don't ring the doorbell. Yeah, you, you find it like knock. the next day. <laughs> it's because they, they do a lot of deliveries during the day, and a lot of people aren't home. So they just they just leave it there. They don't bother knocking. Uh, I've noticed that too. And they don't wait. So I guess they figure, why would I knock if I don't have to wait? But they really should knock. It takes two seconds. Like, or even ring the bell. So you don't have to... Oh, and death. Really nice graphics there. So I'm going to try to actually get to the uh, mm. <laughs> boss. So they can see the boss. Oh, you have before, so. Not the end boss, the first boss. Oh, three, three first guys. Wave. Oh, no. No, five guys. Five guys. Do you want me to see if that was our staff at the door? Uh, yes, please. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah. Okay. cats. So yeah, it's really hard to get all the uh, all the asteroids coming at you. And there's multiple waves, and the enemies get harder and harder each time. Uh, the bosses do. You have less and less time to defeat them, so you really have to be on your game. Actually, it has, uh... Auto fire. No? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Forgot that it had the auto fire. Oh, yeah. Set it up. Oh, here comes Hungry Cat. I'm gonna throw it into the feeding circle. Here, here, cat. See him? Oh no. No, it's still on the, still on the screen. I know. Still on the cat <laughs> cam. Buried Just in, in the, the corner. In the corner, buried amongst the cords. So many cords on the ground. Yeah. Oh, poor Atari. Did you not get it? No. It's oh, like, no. Like, bounced off to the side. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Eat the eat the treat, not the cords. I'm almost. There it is. There it is. There it is. The first one's fairly easy. Yeah. But it's a Yay! very huge boss. Which indicator is the Earth Shield? Uh, I believe it's the left one. Yes, it's the left one. And then, um, then you get it full again. Okay, so that is a demonstration of that game, and it repeats and just gets harder. Yeah, harder and harder. And it has different music and different enemies as it goes on. Oh, there's lots of treats. Look. So the next game we're going to play is Cannon Head Clash, which is a two-player game, a 4K game as well. Uh, it's by Blue Swimmer. Um, Code and design, Vladimir Zuniga, uh, label, manual, and box design. Nice. And I have an interesting stat about uh, VHZC okay. that I did look up. Okay. Um, so I added up all the uh, nominations okay. that VHZC's name appears in, mm. like each one, and there are 18. 18 entries, including the 7800 games that VHZC appears in. Wow. Because I remember when we were reading them out, he's like, VHZC, VHZC. Because he, he does uh, artwork as well. Oh. Go ahead, load it up. Wow. That's quite a few. Yep. 
Similar to concept of Planet Smashers 7800, it's only they forgot to make that game any fun. <laughs> yes, right difficulty for music. It wasn't the left one. So we're going to play two players. Level, question mark, yeah, random level. Uh, take down the win, not nine. Uh, th no, like three. And then you can play the computer. Really cute game. We, she's bombing her own base. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I fell off into the water. <laughs> Not a good strategy. So you can either destroy the other person's base or oh, destroy the other person. Okay, I didn't realize holding it longer meant you threw it further. Oh, you haven't played this in a while. Oh! No, I don't know if I ever oh. have. <laughs> Oh, oh, I ran, ran right into it. That is so cute. Looks, oh my look, goodness. Really good for a 4K okay, game. Okay, let's try like that again. Like it's got a title screen. <laughs> okay. A little music. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Searching for treats. Whoa, I almost bit it. So while you're shooting, you're vulnerable, right? Because you have to stand still and hold the button. You can't move while shooting. Oh. oh. And you can't climb up too tall, too high. So I can't get back up on that shelf. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that seemed planned. Yeah, it might have been. Oh. This game this is, is so cute. MCP90 said, this game is great. I had a lot of fun with it before Christmas. That you haven't played fun. this one? No. Oh, it's so good. It's a fun little I, game. I don't know. I don't remember playing it one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. Maybe with the... So set it to one player, and I will read off what it's nominated for. Um, so Cannon Head Clash is nominated for Best oh. Game. Uh, best graphics best music and sound <laughs> oh, that's easy and one more this is nominated for uh best under uh 4k and under games original because he packs a lot into 4k how what am i missing with the distance because oh there you go what am I missing? What, do you push up or anything like no, that? just hold the button. The longer you hold, the further it goes. That's all it is. <laughs> Computers actually quite challenging. They're not bad at the game. Yeah, they are, they are pretty good oh. at the game. Oh, he's done it all. Oh. <laughs> Move closer versus away as their shot will overshoot you. Oh. Ah, so if you go closer, it's... They usually overshoot you. Oh, don't go in that pit. Mm -mm. Did you go to nine? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, super fun game. Uh, this is coming out um, to Atari Age Store. It's on pre-order right now. I have to break through the wall to get get them. Nice. Usually most of the deaths... <laughs> That's funny that he programmed that in. That, that the computer can fall off the ledge. Stupidly. <laughs> Usually the most, most deaths are when, they, when the opponent moves into the shot. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, that's what, how I die, too. <laughs> computer one? Yeah. yeah he's, Still. He is challenging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But not unbeatable. Not impossible. You yeah. can get them. You can get them. It's hard to make practice. it. It's hard to make AIs work like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next game we're going to play is Crazy Tunes. Okay. By Jeff Johnson, Omega Matrix, and I did see his name flash. I did see, see him in there somewhere today. Mm -hmm. So he might still be lurking around. Mm -hmm. This is a two-player game, extremely innovative. And mm -hmm. works like no other game that I've ever played. Ooh, nice. And it's based Look how on pretty sound. it is. Oh my goodness. It's 
4K game based on sound only. I mean, you move around, but really, you're listening. Mm. So we have to turn it up a little bit more than normal. That's hard to look at. <laughs> so there are five wow. different variations of the game. Okay. Uh, one's void. Race to fill the void before the other person does. First to 30 wins. Tag. Tag the other person. Switch rolls after a few seconds, or when the runner reaches a safe spot, first to 15 points. Doppelganger, get your lookalike for a point. Teleport your opponent lookalike if you beat them to it. Mm. Uh, Gonzo, you and a friend are jamming out crazy tunes for fun. Locate, use your sonic ears to locate the yellow submarine before your moves run out, one player only. Mm. So we, okay, well, that's good, but yeah. we will play the first one, Void. So what's that? It's a race to fill the void before the other person does. Okay. Uh, it's been a while since we played yeah, this. Yeah, I know. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, you, you race towards it. Do you have to hit the button? No. Nope. You just go for it. Oh. There's a bit of luck in this because... Like, I'm not going to go for that one. Yeah, sometimes you're Because you're, you're already off. too close. But then the other person has the opportunity to get it. Oh, this joystick is being naughty. Ooh, two in a row. It's not responding sometimes. Naughty joystick. Oh, I hate it when you miss it. And there's a bit of oh, there's a bit of erratic movement too, because it's so tiny. Oh, I'm having a hard time keeping my joystick go, 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 on one go, go. path. Oh. I find it's best to go a diagonal and then narrow down the horizontal or vertical. Oh, I'm, I'm having yeah, I'm having a hard time keeping it on a straight path. Come on, you can do it. So it's not moving left very well. Oh, oh no, it needs a little bit of. Come on. It's a little bit of TLC. Oh, stay on a straight line. Come on. <laughs> Ah, it's not moving left. No? No. Nope. So I've got a bit of a handicap here. Still, ah! Still doing well. <laughs> yeah. Because I can't run in a straight line. Ah, here. come on! Oh, come on. What is this? First to 30. Okay. Oh, I can't get it to go straight. Look at it! You're having trouble going left, and I'm having trouble just keeping it in a, in a line. Uh, oh, that was lucky. Oh my goodness, <laughs> so close. Uh, moving closer versus away as their shot will over... Oh, you're talking mm. about the last mm -hmm. game. Um, yeah, there's a, a lot of strategy in this. And oh, so much fun. <laughs> this one is less about listening, and the other ones yeah, are more about listening. there's more listening. This is more about moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's basically annoying. like game a tag almost okay i am yellow sorry mm. people didn't know who's who mm. i'm yellow you're white mm. and i have to tag you who has to tag mm. okay what, what so what? i'm tagging Tag That's a it. safe space, so you flip if you hit it. So I tagged you. Okay. But if... So, so I'm white. Run? Oh, you're running. Yeah, and that, if I, if I... I'm tagging, so you just hit me. I'm running. So whoever's smallest is running, and whoever's biggest is playing tag. But if you hit that okay. spot... What the hell am I? It's so confusing. <laughs> It is. I get really confused. What am I? Where am I? <laughs> it's very confusing because you're so used to being a certain color. You are a certain color. Your color's not changing. Oh. I'm white still. Okay. And and when I'm a little white, I have to get to that box. It's so confusing. 
confusing. And then For when I'm a big reason. white, I have to tag you. And you have to get to that black box, which for some reason it's not fully tagged. Go left! <laughs> left. Don't do anything yeah, I'm not for a doing second. Anything. You are a big tag if you're a small run. But the thing is, you reset and then you're like, where am I? Where yeah. can I go? When you reset on the screen. Yeah, my left is. I have to change the Yeah, joystick. okay. Yeah, that's fine. And label it as bad. What was the name of the game again? Crazy Tunes. Crazy Tunes. Watch out, Cap. Pixel, you you, you missed the uh, treats. Come here, baby. Oh, he's big eyes. He wants some. You want some? Here. Here. Okay. Left is working. And I think we discovered last time you can pass through each other. You can kind of, which is really strange. So I can guard it? Kind of. I think you got me. Very confusing. <laughs> I, I get confused every time it resets. I'm like, what am I doing? You get used to it after a tiny bit. Oh, oh I, and I can't keep a straight line. This is the thing that is by <laughs> far the most frustrating, is like I'm trying to be on a certain vertical plane. Well, you're covering it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I do anything if you're You're kind of it? racing to it, in a way. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? of racing to it. Oh, that was weird. Sometimes it, oh, it's just advantage, right? Yeah, it's random where you get placed. So do I just wait, wait it out? Yeah. James is blaming the controller on tennis. <laughs> It was bad. <laughs> it was legitimately, I could not press left sometimes. <laughs> We're always blaming something. Yeah. Go for it. Did that work or was it like a tie? I don't know what happens. Yeah. When you cover the hole. Like, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you get it. I get it. But you get it anyway, right? I don't. Oh, no, nothing went up. Oh, you just don't get a point. Yeah. Okay. No, you don't get a point. You get a point for tagging, don't you? That's the safe spot. You get a point for tagging. Mm, only for tagging. Yeah, see, so you got one. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, just get me. You go up by one. Okay. So if I cover it, so try to hit it with me covering it. I got nothing for that. Yes. Okay. So it's only. Oh my goodness! It's only was wrong. For no, it did go over, but it wouldn't. So I might as well just end it early, right? Or just sit. Well, there. It, yeah. Like you don't actually get anything. Right. Only for tagging. Yeah. It's only so it's... for tagging, and if you cover it. Then there's no points happening. Happening. Yes, you might as well just run into me because you don't actually get a point for that. Uh, not a chance. So. So if I do this, I don't technically tag you? Yeah, that's true. So you do not want to cover the hole. You want to actually get me, but you want to be near the hole. Which that, makes sense. Because that's where I'm going for. Yeah. Because ah. that's the safe spot. It does time out, though, everyone. What is this one up to? I don't know. Very high. Yep, covering the hole is useless. Yeah, yes. no point. Yeah, 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 yeah. It took a while for us to figure that out. It's a smart... Nobody got a point. Yeah, it's a smart way of evening it out, so you can't just cover it up. Uh, oh, 15. So we're like one away. 
Yeah. I do I not kidding. accept that. <laughs> Play the next next one. <laughs> Doppelganger. Get to your lookalike for a point. Teleport your opponent's lookalike if you beat them to it. What? Ah. What? Whose lookalike are you trying to catch? I'm just trying to get to my yellow. You're trying to get to your blue. And I think I can make yours move if I touch yours. I think that was the end. Swaps with you. No, I guess I can't. Uh, I think the story is 20. Ooh, Ooh. Just. Um, and then the next one is just for fun, messing around. <laughs> Number five is locate before your moves run out. Yeah. One player, you have to listen. There we go. Socrates 0603 says, great job, Tanya! It moves, doesn't it? Uh, yes, it does move around. It moves bit. around. It's amazing that the Atari has enough fidelity to make this work. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16 by the lot. <laughs> Maybe the only exclusive sound required game on the 2600. Strawberry Shortcake, only exception. Are there any other games where it's like you have to have the sound? I, I know there's another game where it's like you you're not going to do well. Oh, Dolphin. Dolphin. I'm sure we brought that up last time. We played this. You have to have sound on for Dolphin. Mm. Because it tells you where you need to be vertically to go through the hole. And if you're in the wrong spot, you're just going to hit. And the octopus is going to get you. We haven't played Dolphin on that show yet for the patch. Skeleton Plus use sound heavily and even stereo. Stereo, wow. Not a lot of people have their uh, 2600s wired up for stereo. <laughs> I do. I think. I think I do. Did he put it in mono? I can't remember. Nathan Strum was here. I would, I would know. I think it's in stereo. Yeah, it can do stereo um, because it, it's stereo. There's two things to make sound. Two, two channels of sound and they just pan one all the way to the left and one one to the right that's stereo but if you make the same sound in both speakers you can and vol adjust the volume you can actually pan it left and right and there you go crossbow explain the exact same thing <laughs> okay you're just about done no, I can't do it with you talking in my oh. ear anyway. So <laughs> if you want to, if you want to go, or nope. we'll switch. No, it no, off. no, we're done. Yeah, when we'll you're talking to me, I'm trying to hear the tone of the sounds, and then he's talking, and I'm like, blah, ah. blah, blah. <laughs> it's a game you do need to be very, very focused. Very on. quiet. Yeah. So it's it definitely hoping... a skill to listen to someone talk and try to determine the tone yeah. of, <laughs> of the noise. I was hoping Doggone it would um, arrive today. 
Mm. They still have uh, a little bit of time. Mm. But uh, let's check. Check its delivery. Still expected today. In transit. Yeah, Load probably up, not going to happen. Please. It's by Andrew Polly, uh, Armscar Coder, who's in the chat tonight. Uh, game programming and graphics. Herbie Haller, uh, cartridge label, manual and box design. Well, it's a quieter game. Turn it up a bit. Deliver those packages. Collect those cats. Avoid those dogs. Get that cat. There you go. You've got a dog icon. I can't remember what that is. Makes you invulnerable to the dog. Something like that. Um, uh, Herbie Holler for cartridge label, manual, and box design, and Charles Aikens for illustrations. And doggone it, was along with Robot City the only games to get five nominations. Mm. They swept their categories. Nice. So, doggone it is nominated for best game, best graphics. Best music and sound. Uh, best packaging. What else? There's one more, because it's only four. Oh, it's 4K. So, and also uh, best 4K and under. All original. And somebody, for some reason, the package. It's, it's ironic, and I think I said this to Armscar Coder, that a game about packages is taking forever to get to me. <laughs> Everybody else got theirs. I, I'm pretty sure every single person he sent one to has already got them. And I am the very, very, very last person. One more package to deliver! And... There's a lot of fun in this game. That's a bell in the middle that you can ring to... That pauses them very, very briefly. Very briefly. briefly. But it's useful in some situations. It can be enough situations. to get away, get around them. The number of packages you need to deliver is on the vehicle itself, and that changes. Oh, here's the stinky dogs. I love the stinky dogs. They're hot. They're, they're hot, hot dogs, dogs, but as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> they're, they're stinky. stinky. Dogs. Always use your power up before collecting a new cat. Yes. Yes. Because otherwise you're just wasting it. Well, it you're substituting it. Force you to. Or does it push you to use I it? I I started flashing the last. See, I'm moving faster. No. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it stuck forces in a lot of walls. you to take the next one. I think. Those doggies. Yeah, you're faster with that one. Can you also wire in a remote pause? button uh, to a controller just like you do on the master system can also wire um, into what oh into the 7800 you can oh I'm yeah I'm sure you could wire it into it but you'd have to hardwire it into it I would probably wire a separate button not into a controller because then you'd always have to have you'd have to use that controller if you hardwired it into a controller. Interesting. Makes you use the new power up and keep your old one. So there is some strategy on whether the power up you have is best to use or you take a, a gamble on the new one. Kitty. Culvert cat, that's what it's called. I like the kitty. Culvert kitty. Yeah, he's very cute. Last power up was quick feet, not dog and vulnerable. You can use IC logic to toggle it off or on with the original pause button still in place. Yeah. That's good. You definitely don't want to disable the pause button that's on the machine. You want to uh, always add, never disable. So this is a super fun game. The animals get really fast <laughs> faster i don't think they get and more packages so it's smarter because no. they bounce around oh well, maybe they do get smarter uh, he's chasing you a bit now no i i, th I think their their movement doesn't seem to change but they get faster and then you have more packages. more packages and you start yeah. to run out of time but there's some really good players on on uh 
for this game that get super crazy mm -hmm. scores. Yeah, that little box tells you oh, what you're getting. Or what cat, cat thing. So that one reduces down a package? Or is it deliver two packages? Uh, it was deliver two. Oh, I don't know what this one is. The truck one. I don't recall. Resets it. It, it makes pushes it, it back, maybe? I can't remember. Pauses or it? Or pauses it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's been a while. Yeah. So truck stop. Uh, thank ah. you, Captain Classic. Go away, you Poodles. Poodles. Go away. So the truck stopping is very, very good. But you would only want to use that if you absolutely necessary. If it's absolutely necessary, when you get points, oh, stop the dogs. That's a good use. Because if you're running by it anyway, why not? Well, also if they're, you already know the direction they're heading in, so it slows the, their mo movement away. Right. Uh, An arm scar coda says eventually crazy culvert kitty gets faster, and then the power up time gets shorter. So just everything gets harder. I hate when the neighborhood poodles roam in packs. <laughs> That's when they're the worst. Mm -hmm. They just get so angry. Sometimes it's better to run into them than to... Uh, there you go. And everything you get stuck on. Mm-hmm. Sticky. It's all sticky. I hate, I hate when I he flips it. like that. I knew it! around that guy yes they are hot dogs <laughs> not stinky dogs not stinky but dogs but they're still funny I think they're funnier as stinky dogs they have dogs. stink lines yeah. you know, cartoon stink yeah, lines yeah that's right <laughs> well if they're hot it stands to reason they're probably they're also stinky, stinky. Yes. <laughs> let's face it but dogs don't sweat right uh, they... not in the same way but they do get stinky <laughs> oh dogs are stinky they don't clean themselves like cats they just get stinkier, and they don't mind it. They actually no, love they the love stink. the stink. It helps them um, tell each other apart and to hide from predators, so they don't. So they so, don't stink. Well, I, guess I thought they were dogs with fleas. <laughs> Stinky, hot, flea-ridden dogs is what they are at the end of the day. <laughs> so now you've got six packages and a crazy fast dog. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it resets to the easy level where the guy doesn't run around. Culver Kitty! Good timing. What's that? Fast feet? It's no. A note. Oh, the note is it's fast feet, I think, is supposed to be. Yeah. Mm. Or dirt and grime in pig pen's case, yes. Yeah, that's what oh. it reminds me of. Yeah, you do not want to touch the dogs when you have When you a have package. a package. When he hits Waste. you on your way back, it really has such a minimum effect, yeah. but... When you have a package, you have to start all over. Apparently, they just attack chew it, it and chew it apart. Ah! His vertical movement is constant, so you don't have to worry about him coming towards you. He's always going like down and up and down. He doesn't change directions vertically. He changes in the middle, though, but, uh, left and right. Ah! Left and right, yes, but not vertically. Really annoying. What are you doing, dog? <laughs> So it's safer on the outsides, but slower. Yes. Going down the middle, you're getting them. Well, I think both that directions. was the strategy: is you run up the middle because even if he accidentally yes. hits you, it saves time. It saves time, but the edges are actually much easier. <gasps> Another culver kitty. You're not gonna get that culver kitty. No. Hermes. If Greek, yeah, if yeah. Greek. Anyway, you can play this for a long time. It's a you pretty. You can. It's a pretty. Um, it's very fun. Very, very fun. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh! 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 Culver Kitty to the rescue. Fast feet. Oh, these dogs, get out of my way. <laughs> this one is harder they in get the more sense erratic. that uh, you only have, you, you have to hit one side or the other. Yes. I would go to the left. Ooh, just in time. Or does it switch when you give them the package? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it switches. Okay. This one switches when you give them the package. The other guy just switches back and forth. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Captain Classic says it gets hard by level eight. Mm. Mm 
about? No, it's hard hard yeah. now. I think I saw scores in the 60,000s. Oh, really? Yeah. That's like impressive. People had optimized this game. Their covert kitty use. <laughs> yeah, you do have to do that. I have mild dog phobia, so avoiding the dog resonates with me, Carl, she <laughs> says. So you're definitely uh, all about not touching these dogs in the game, then. Mm -hmm. Kitty! Hopefully it's a... Pause the truck. Well, you'll make it. Yep. Oh. Dog and bone. Mm -hmm. I used it up because I got the other culver kit. Nice use of the gong, arm scar color says. <laughs> I tried. Did Pixel get some treats? Eventually? Oh, he did. He did, yeah. He's floofing over in the corner right now. Yeah. Oh, you get caught. Stuck. You get caught a lot in this level. I find. It's, it's oh, very narrow. Stinky dogs. Oh, run! Anyway. Just run. Get There's away. a cat up there. Get away from me, stinky dogs. <laughs> stinky, flea-ridden dogs. Oh, did I get him? Yeah, you got him. Oh, did I not hit the button in time? Uh, you did, because oh. you still have a... That's weird. Oh, they give you a random one. Oh, shit. Oh, random. Yeah. Okay. Which may not be good. Oh, that's not good. It's paused. This might be the end. That's okay. That's a fun game. Feet. Oh, oh getting I keep stuck getting, so uh, much. You get caught a lot on this one in comparison to the other one. You used your random new power up because you didn't use your old one. I know, I tried mm. to hit it before I touched it, but I didn't quite make that work. Yeah, I saw you press a button, but I don't. I it was a little too. Ugh! Dogs. Oh, come on! It's better to stay where you were. No. He was about to hit me. No, I mean, like, on the side you were. You can still win this. You will get one more cat. Especially if it's a pause vehicle. Yeah. Or a fast feet. It would have to be. Or a dog invulnerability. Oh, dog invulnerability. Take what I can get. That's a good one. I don't Gotta think I can do it quick. fast enough. Ah! Oh, ooh. You might. Might be able to. No. I think that's pushing it. Get to that guy, yes, yes, go to the left, go to the left, go down, down, down. Oh, it's almost done. No, stop running away from me. It's gonna switch go. again. Go, go. Oh. oh, just in time. Is he gonna switch, is he gonna switch? You wanna play? I'll do this last level. Okay. And fail miserably because it's a le <gasps> level seven. Look at that dog. <laughs> Look at that dog, he's going nuts. Yeah, he's real fast. <laughs> he's very it's a angry. crazy great thing. Got bit by a wasp and he's just angry. So Pixel, what are your feelings on crazy dogs? <laughs> Hate them. Don't like them. They need to go away. Would you be a culvert cat? Oh, he'll give us um, special Power-ups? Power-ups, yeah. Power up cat? Yeah. Good job, good job. I hate it when they stick in one area. Oh. Where you are. Hi, sweetheart. For some reason. Oh. Dog is on puppy uppers. Old <laughs> SNL skit. I don't remember puppy that uppers. one, but that's funny. I don't remember that one either. No. I don't think you want your dog on puppy uppers. This cat is like a James Bond villain. Yeah. It's cute and fluffy and... Full of rage. What is the truck rage? one? Oh, stay, stay, stay. Please, please. I know I'm you don't want me it. to force you. The truck just freezes the truck. Oh, that dog. <gasps> oh! <Yeah, that's... laughs> Running it too close to the dog. Mm. <gasps> oh. oh! Edges. Edges are always better. Stop it! You can you can avoid the dog a lot better with the on the edges. What's up? I thought you were mad at me. <laughs> I thought you were like, oh. He he loves and hates at the same time. Okay. That cat. Fast feet. Okay, do it. Oh, you, why are you going down the middle? Why are you going <laughs> down the middle? Faster. It's not faster. Not with this guy. You've got fast feet. Just run. Yeah. Okay, Pixel I did agrees. It. 
got to be careful on stage one of the higher levels. It goes back and forth so fast it yeah. will nearly freeze you every time. Keeps the power pill in his ring. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. You're being cute. You're being cute. We got times two. Have you mm. got some treats, huh? Damn it! <laughs> it's hard. Pixel's here for moral support. Ah, stay away, dogs. Okay, I'm going to use it right now. Yeah? Are you helping? And then hopefully You're I can helping. get another one. Which will give me a oh, time. They're so two. fast. Get that gong. Oh, oh what? no. Not like that. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Not like that. Cool. Keep oh. going there. Oh. Yes. Hi. You should stick around. Do you want a treat? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll bring the other cat, though. <laughs> There's Instantly. Instantaneously. How long was that? Two seconds before the other cat I don't cat know where he out? was, but it was like he was right in front of the door waiting for me to open the treat bin. Here. Here's one for you. I don't think I'll make it. There you go. I have two more to go. Uh, maybe if a cat comes. Maybe if... Ooh, what oh. is he going to give me? Invincibility? Two. Times two. Oh, Perfect. you just have to get it. Oh. Yeah. You, do, you hit the button right before you deliver it, mm -hmm. and you get a times two. And that means two. Now there's two puppies and random moving guys. This mm -hmm. one is... I always go the edges on this one. Yeah? Yeah, I try. Gonna miss the kitty. No kitty. Run back fast. Run back fast. Get the kitty on the back end. Good job. Give me a times two kitty. Uh, that's a good Dog? one. Dog? Yeah. Invul one. Is that the invul vulnerability? Yeah. yeah. Oh, too late. Run, 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 uh, run, run, run. My foot it got stuck. I don't like this guy. He runs away from you just as you're about to deliver come on, his package. Come on. Who does that? Get over here. No, no. Run, run over to him. Oh, it's too late. Your seat. There you go. <laughs> it's too late. It's very annoying, though. Ah. It's the level where I die. Five. Oh, left. Yeah. Okay. Five left. Four left. It's halfway. Yeah. If I get a good power up, then maybe. Oh. Ah. Dog. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And your call. Oh, caught between Hi. two dogs. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> I've got two I cats. I need that here. cat. Two cats. What are they looking at you for? Come you know what here. they're looking at you for. I do. Oh. I'm going to have to go down the edge. <sighs> two. If I get the truck and deliver the package, I will win this level. But I don't think so because the truck is almost gone. And my timer is almost up. Oh, no. This is the end. Ah, uh, nope. The truck's almost off the screen. Yeah. Unless I get a freeze, a cat, a dog gone it. Aww. Nope, came over, Captain Classic says. <laughs> Stinky dog stole my packages. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, fun, fun game. Very cute. Okay, next game is, I believe I ran. Yep. By VHZC. Vladimir's Unique. And it's a louder game. So let me turn it down. Okay. What is this nominated for? Oh. This is nominated for best game. Uh, best graphics. Um, best game and gra best graphics. Yes, VHZC. Its graphics are astounding. Just look at them. Look at that sign. Oh, oh I always messed that, that up. That bullet, like everything's got a nice shade. Very nice. Shade to it, like. 
hardly anything is a solid color. He made he made the guy a solid color just because mm. it's it, it's fine, right? It's better to have everything else a variety because you have only so much time in a um, scan line to do things. So the trade-off was he would make one thing colorful and the guy duck. <laughs> Yay! That one's hard because you have to wait till it pops up. It's coming back. <laughs> you remember all of them? Kind of, like very vaguely. Yeah. Oh, too oh, late. That one you have it to time hard. it. Okay. Oh, are you having fun? Hey, yes, Ramirez. Oh. Welcome. Oh, both cats are having fun because you got them trees. I know now they want more. <laughs> Spoil cats. Atari's giving me. Uh, more I eyes. love you, cat eyes. <laughs> I love it's you like so blinking much. blinking like this. I it's like, it. you know, you're not getting more, little kitty. <laughs> He's blinking at me. Oh. <laughs> no, I think we're done. Oops. I think we're done. Oh, Ooh, you can jump over. On over. That was very accidental. <laughs> little elf. Oh, I, every time. To jump Because it's a middle one and you sink down, but it's not. <sighs> middle. So this is... Oh my God. Um, so we'll set it to hard now, so you can see all the different... Sure. Is that the random hard? Yeah. Uh, so there's two settings. One setting is everything's in sequential order, and it's set. And then there's hard level, which is everything is random. So it's a much better chance of seeing everything. And very good oh. practice. And you get one life. And you get one. So it's like one shot at your score, basically. So if you really want practice on the unknown. Oh, <laughs> I hate that middle guy. One more. Go, James goes for the hard timing of jump in the bat and succeeded. Once. Died the last time. Oh. oh. This one is easy to demonstrate because it's pretty quick unless you get really far into it. Yeah. Oof. That was... That's pretty cute. I really it's like it. Cute. I love the I like the graphics on this game. Oh, so Everything's good. so different. Nope. <laughs> jump jump for middle. <laughs> Again. Because there's a low and a high one too, right? So it's Difficult. Yeah. Oh, you always think that was a high one. It it really does look high. It's not high enough though. Mm -mm. Nope. Duck for the their geese. But... Grass killing you is kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I agree. You trip and hit your head on something. Ooh. What Ooh. is it? Uh, Bubbles. Day of the Triffids or something. I don't know. <laughs> trip over a. Alien uh, orbit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That so the foliage is killing you. Yeah. Yeah. It's plants. Plants are killing. Or, you. or maybe I'm thinking of. I don't know if I've seen the movie, but it, it, isn't there a Twilight Zone episode that has that in it too? Plants probably. You? Yeah. Oh, probably. I mean, there is. There's a Twilight. Oh, oh, I pressed it just too late. One more. Tall grass is dangerous. Let's see Jurassic Park three. I don't think I've seen Jurassic oh. Park three. No. I quit after one. I saw one and two. I don't think I saw two. I saw two, but I don't remember seeing any of the ones after that. Oh, it goes with our jump again. One more. <laughs> Hi, sir. Oh, we got ah. two cats on the couch today. That one, you duck. This is oh, you have to time that one. There's one here. Oh. And one here. There could be, like, broken glass in the... <laughs> or dangerous. something sharp or yeah, I don't know I just something don't think bites it's grass. you it just trips you that's all it's not so much that you die or you're injured you just get tripped <sighs> Close. this game is great colors agreed oh, I love so that, giraffe. that giraffe is really well so colored. cute Good stuff! Excellent! Jurassic Park 3 is the worst. Unless you enjoy hearing Tia Leone scream. Oh, uh, you're not selling me on that one. <laughs>
Uh, so we're going to be playing Shadow a Reflex by MCP90. Who is in the chat tonight? Yay! Master Control 90. Nice. 4K game. And this one is nominated for... Go for it. Have you played this game before? I don't know if I have. I'm trying to remember. You shoot. Don't get shot. Don't get touched. Ah! Ah! Back and forth. Don't let it get too close because it goes crazy. Oh. So you want to stay away from it. So do you ever kill it, or it's just a points no. thing? I think it's just a points. Ah, ah. Oh, he really goes after you. You list. Go away, instructions. Uh, so this is nominated for a best under 4K Atari 2600 original homebrew. Ah. Oh, he got me. He dives in and attacks you if you get too close. He gets really angry. your that's your life on the left your points in the middle oh yeah and your lives on the right is it oh yeah it is it did, it did go down the thing is it eats up all three lives at once <laughs> if it, no it doesn't no? You, you come back with one less life i think oh, I swear I, no. Oh, no 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 but then then you come back and it should say two right no. oh no it doesn't it eats oh. all three lives well then instantly. what's the point of your life <laughs> oh i guess if if it's it's like a full bar. It's like three times that. Yeah. Okay. I see it's, what you're it's saying. It's a continuous life. So if I guess. If, if, if it's if like I, a refill. I haven't fully. Maybe I have fully died. So it's just based on score. Cool. Wit causes the boss to change color and charge. What is this? Oh yes. Then it gets harder. Um, if you get within a certain distance of the boss. Oh, you want to get that. Get what? That red thing. What red thing? Going around them. The red thing on the screen. There you, you go. Capture and it? it charges you up. Oh, ah! He really gets you. Yeah, so if you get too close to him, he goes nuts and charges at you. So you want to stay far away. Yeah, you really have to keep your distance. There was a fun bug early in the game. You could get in a certain spot and it would freeze him, and you could just shoot and shoot and shoot. Nice. <laughs> but that it doesn't, doesn't make the game fun, right? It makes it cheaty. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. oh run so it you're not uh there you go so i want that yeah it's a recharge on your health it's hard because he's also will chase you if you get too close and he's also shooting at you there you go i don't know how i managed that but anyway now you're recharged no more bug now james <laughs> mcp90 says yeah oh yeah it, it was, it uh, kind of ruined the game. Oh, oh, no, you lost two lives trying to get the did one. Did I get a recharge? No. No, you didn't even get the recharge. Or maybe ah, you did. Ah, it's so, you could have once he attacks you, it's like, boom, over. It's so fast. Really nice. And dead. It's like, you're doing well, and then, oh, no. <laughs> ah. He's challenging. You really have to keep your dis distance from him. You do. Ah! You really have to follow his pattern and stay like... Yeah. Is that? Uh, what does away? it say? Ricardo Pim just subscribed. Oh, thank you so much for resubscribing. Yay. Ricardo Pim. I can't remember what triggers. Um, it looks like health. you played it a lot from last time, James. <laughs> Natural ability. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did play a lot of this while testing it. Yeah. Um, it just boom. It. The you're problem done. is you get too close and it's yeah. Yeah. Cool. There you go. That is yes, cool. Very, very cool. I haven't played that one before. There's a lot of give and take in the tactics. Mm. So you have to be very careful. You, if you're too cautious, you can't get the score. But if you're too aggressive, mm. it'll just be like, it'll just wipe you just, out. Just, yeah. Well, I see. The health bill comes back at, at half health of the shield. Oh. That makes sense because I noticed it would pop up if you were really low. 
it would come up again really quickly. So that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, next game is the Stack Game by Blue Swimmer. And it's a 1K game. Stack Not game. often you see 1K games. Look at this guy. Do you see this guy? Oh, he loves you because you gave him treats. He's like, he's just chilling with us right now. He, this, him loafing like this is a pretty rare event. Very rare. Just, he's just hanging back and watching. If I touch him too much, he'll run away. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is nominated for Best Under 4K Homebrew. Okay. Complete Original. Go for it. Um, so you're pressing the button oh. when it's no. <laughs> when yeah. it's matching. Oh, I'm not very good at this game, apparently. Oh. So Blue Swimmer has two games in the uh, 4K and under. And that sound, you'll find that in Cannon Head Clash as well. That exact same sound. Oh. I can't remember what, it's, what he uses it for. Oh no, it's not in that one. What is that game where you're hopping on blocks and coins come down? I think it's used in that game. What was that game called? That was a really fun game. Or is a really fun game. It's not gone. 24. 25. Oh, down to a stick. Oh. oh. That's fun. That's fun, fun, fun. Very simple game. Oh. Where she started off. I kind of want to be right in front of the screen. I feel like if, the, if it was right in front of my face, I would do better with it. But uh, ah. from from across the room, it's think a you're, you're, you might be at a slight disadvantage when you're watching it from far away. But uh, that noise it's is so really cool. It perfectly. Nice. No. No. Oh, two off. Ugh. Ugh. 30. That noise when you get it right, you're like, oh. Ugh. I'm doing good. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. 40. 40 is good. Carl G says, I'm always impressed by a 1K game. Oh yeah, me too. 1K is not many 1K games. It is hard to make um, a good looking game with sound that's fun in 1K. There's not a lot of room to play with. You usually have to sacrifice something. Oh, that was a rough one. Thanks, Arena Foot, for linking. It's very tense. The game? Yeah, it's so funny. I remember playing it last time and being like, ah! <laughs> it you can't a... really talk oh, and do it. You no. can't really talk and do it at the same time. But it feels very yeah, tense. Like, you need a lot of concentration. You do. Oh, it's so hard to get it perfect. It's like building snowmen in Animal Crossing. <laughs> that head is always the wrong size. Ah. It even has graphics for the score. Yeah, that too. Like everything you oh, see God. is a piece of memory <laughs> it has to it has to keep. Oh, Lord. Or or a bit of ROM that it has to use up. So the graphics for the score, um, I mean RAM, RAM is RAM, it always has 128. Okay, well, I'm trying. I'll do one more, yeah. see if I can beat 40, I doubt it. That was not bad. I got a lot at the end. Mm. If you get in the groove, it's not so bad, but I always feel like my vision's off. Oh, God. Oh. I think it's timing and vision. It's not the timing because the timing is off depending on the side it comes into. It like kind of. Uh, I just watch. The timing is off if it gets smaller. It, it's no. Yeah, it is because if if it gets smaller in your last round, the timing is a little different. Nice. Oh, punishment for that good stack. Yeah. Definitely a game you want full concentration. Hi, sir. How 
Where are you, black and white kitty? Coming back? He really wants more treats. No. 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 <laughs> oh, 41. Same as Beat last it. time. No, I got 40 last time, didn't I? Oh, crossbow. Managed to make perfect snowmen the past three days. <laughs> I, I go on a string where I get them right, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you were so close. I'm like, what do you mean? It's the same as yesterday. <laughs> oh, that snowman head. <sighs> anyway. Next game is <laughs> Unholy by Leonardo Santiago and Vladimir Zuniga for the packaging and art. Load it up. Oh, didn't mean that. Nope. Back? No, yep. there. Yeah. Next page, you can go over. Yeah. Oh, I always forget that. Unholy. Unholy. Nice. I take it we're going to just play a little bit of this? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the whole thing. We're going to <laughs> finish the game. We did finish it, and it was it's quite a wonderful game. So this is nominated for uh, Best Graphics, uh, Best Music and Sound. That's uh, one more. I forgot the bad guys come out of this. Oh, wow. oh and best game. Ah. Yeah, really great music. Um, ah. <laughs> fell down the pit. <laughs> they uh, they were much easier to kill last time. And the uh, lightning in the background is really great visually, and the audio it's got great music. <laughs> Who needs enemies? I know, just. You're, not, you're your own worst enemy, aren't you? And the graphics on the enemies and you. Oh, they're great. The animation on you. The little little vials are great. Um, the designs of the room, especially the room where the blood starts filling up the ground. Oh, yeah. Ah, I didn't like this that. one. This one's so good. And it also hurts you, so you have to... You have to avoid it. I think there's always a path up top, though. I want to go back because I missed... Great Offender says scary. Uh, the pits are. <laughs> you have to be very careful. When he first made this game, there were some uh, pits that were very hard to navigate. Yeah. You had to go like a zigzag. Nothing. So you have to get keys. For various... Ah! See, I can't walk in straight lines. It's always been my problem. <laughs> Sober or otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, you have to find keys to open doors to eventually uh, rescue somebody. Yeah. Pits have always been scary after 83 in E.T. Yeah. You don't want to fall in pits. These ones you can't get out of. E.T. can float out of the ones in that game at least. So there's a key. You can't get to it directly. No, you have to get to it from another level. Around. And we made a full map of the game. Yes, we did. As yeah. we did it, yeah. I'm just following one path. You can you, you go level to level. Yeah. And each level is a different color. So it helps you orient yourself a little. It does. Yay! Yay. Extra life. We all need extra lives. Ooh. Big demon head. Ah, it's a ghost in that. This one has a door. It's a floating knife. A floating scimitar. Mm -hmm. Very mean looking scimitar. Oh, he's angry. My nose is itching, sorry. Nice. Is there anything here? No. So now you go to the next level, and we will move on after you do that. Sure. Blood, and you can see the walls change color, so you know which. You're in the blue level. Which row, which hallway? I yeah. guess you're in. Yeah. Big trident. You're on the edge of the pit. Thank oh you. my god. Ugh. Serious pest issue. Serious uh, possess. Possession. Undead. Uh... Not undead. Ghosts. Skull. Floating skulls. No, no, no. Paranormal in general, really. Monk needs a quarterly pest control service. Mm -hmm. Is it his house? I can't remember if it's his house or if it's... Uh... Empty rooms like this always make me think of Pitfall. Like there's, there's, a, there's something something's going to open up. Because <laughs> the empty ones on Pitfall, 
they're never empty. There's always something. And the empty ones opens up to a big pit and closes. I think it's a black pit, just like this. Yeah. Lightning flashing outside is a nice touch. It's yes. so smart and so easily done with play field and background. Or is it? What did he do? Play, f not play field. Uh, play field and uh, yeah, background color. So you can change background color. So he's, he's done play field on the top and then um, changes the background on the top to white when the lightning strikes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... If it's a monk's place that's so possessed and evil, what did the monk do? You have to wonder. I, can't, I think it was on the wedding of the person you're rescuing. Yeah, there's a wedding and someone was taken away by the devil and then the house is now haunted and you have to save it's them. it's not his wedding. No, 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 no. He came to exercise the demons. And... Oh, he's the expert then. To... Yeah called in to help. So there's a red door you need the that. key to open the door. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. We're good. That's a good enough. Yeah, I think Shut for now. The game. Ooh, bounce, bounce. And the next and last game is Whale Dive. 4K by Martin Vilkans. Ooh. You've played this one. I've played this one. You've played this one. It'll I think come to me when I see it. I think it's three levels. And each level is a different screen that you have to do. Oh my goodness. It's, it's a bizarre game. Yeah, you can't do it's that. It's this whale that's falling to earth. Falling to earth. Good job. <laughs> the first thing that came. So the whale goes faster and faster, as per gravity. And he falls through patterns. And it, you really do have to memorize. Yeah. There's not much of a an option other than memorize. So you're not going to win on the first go. Poor Sky Whale. Oh, so close. Was I? Yep. The water's right below there. Uh, so you get one hit. Yes, you do. So you want to put that hit oh. as far down as you I can. I want to restart because it's like, ugh, I don't want to use up my hit on that middle thing. Slap in the face. Oh, so yeah, hard. Good, good sound. Psh, psh, psh. The button means nothing. There's no point even touching it. Except to start. Mm -hmm. Cause there's pretty oh, much a point so where it gets so fast it's almost impossible it's to like make instinctual. it through. Because I don't think I made it through on one life ever. There Yay! we go. What a relief. The whale made it to the water. I don't know what the whale's doing way up there, but he needs to be back in the and he just keeps diving. So go for level two. So there's three different three different screens where the whale is diving. And this one has a dead end, I believe. I know. You have to memorize which end is the... Oh! And it's the left, so you always yeah. want to go to the right. I think you might make it if you... If you... Oh, I don't know. There oh, you go. Yeah, First try. Bad. Good job. Magrathia. Magratha, not Earth. I don't know what reference that's to. Sounds is it Star off of Trek paddle again. control? No, no, no <laughs> paddle control. This is a joystick. Joystick only. As far as I know. I didn't try paddle. But I don't think the instructions said anything about no. paddle. I believe this one's really hard. <laughs> You're stuck in there. No chance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, forget it. Get out of the way. Ugh. Cuddles? Pixel? Cuddles? Here. Oh, it's so sensitive. Thanks for all the fish. Yeah, it is. It is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Is it? Oh, okay. But it, that was dolphins. This is whale, Dolphin? whale No, wasn't dive. there a wild a whale diving from the sky? Oh, the yeah, at the beginning. There's a whale falling yes. from the sky. The dolphins left Earth, but the whale can do this one. <laughs> fell down. Yes, 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 yes. And right. he was like going through realizations of, yeah. hey, I I'm alive. I hey, don't... I'm falling, splat. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, a yeah. Lot that's more than right. That, I've never read the books. I've They're seen really the good. movie, but I've never read the books. It's a series I've always meant to read. 
My dad had a Kitten, them all. kitten, kitten. Come I love here, you, sweetie. but. Come here. Come here. Squish, squish me. Squish me. Oh. Oh, dead end. Not okay. that way. Go to the left there. I did. Uh, we did complete this. We did. I remember completing it, yeah. Yes, sweetie. Not there. Okay. Right, then left. The down uh, arrow seems a bit unnecessary. It actually shows you which path to take, I think. What? Yeah, it's on the right-hand side. The down arrow? Yeah, there was a down arrow, and you went to the oh. left, but it was on the right. I think if you follow it... Interesting. I think, I think There's that's... No down arrow. There. Oh, I see. Well, it's way too late, though. Yeah, but like, then not on... It doesn't show you anything. You're there. passing by it. Yeah. As it... Uh, hi. I did call you over, and then I started playing. He's, he's there for moral support. And he's there for pushing my joystick hand. Kitten! <laughs> Is he pushing your joystick hand? I'm going to be over here. Oh, kitty. <laughs> There's no point if I'm going to hit that early. Hey. The down arrow seems a bit unnecessary. Yes, it does. It's way too late. Cats don't understand video games. So no. They're just like, why won't you love me? Yay! Pixel! Yay! Good pixel! <laughs> He's like, ah! Hi! Hi! Yay! Yeah. So between us, we conquered all the games. Excellent. Well, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we conquered this game. Yeah. Um, so that are, those are the nominees for completed Atari 2600 games. Nice. We did port. Mm-hmm. And uh, the last show, mm -hmm. and then the show before that, we did works in progress. So the next episode, next stream, is we're going to do 8-bit and 7800 games, mm -hmm. which is going to be quite a few games. Well, a little bit more than this, because there's six for yeah, 7800 completed, six for 7800 works in progress, mm -hmm. and six 8-bit games. But are they so over... 18. No, I guess none of them would be overlapping. So 18 games, no, that's quite a few. Yeah, no yeah. I was like thinking, no, wait, no, none of them would. So, so. it'll be a little bit longer mm. than today, which today was a, a little bit short. It was, <laughs> actually, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but you got to see a lot of the cats. But um, maybe we should take a look yeah. at the packaging category. Sure. Because it's a good time to put it in, because yeah. it's uh, a little bit... Pixel X packaging, too. Yeah, do you... Let's take a look at the package. <laughs> Mer. Let's see. 2600 packaging. Do you see this cat? Oh, he's, <laughs> he's he going trying? after he's going after the uh, the treat Naughty. bin. Naughty. He knows what he wants. Let's see how I can do this. Yeah, I can probably do it. This way uh, looks pretty good. Okay. Why is that? There it comes. So let's take a look at the packaging. We'll do it. There we go. That works. So, just like every category, there are six games nominated for packaging. Um. What is happening here? Am I in the right category? One second. This is, this is what happens when you're like, let's do this! Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Gotta find all the packaging photos. When you, uh, when you jump into it too quick. No, that's the cat, that's the folder for every single game that came <laughs> out in uh, 2020. That mm -hmm. is way too many packagings to look at. Shall I turn on our sign in the interim? Yeah. Maybe. Show off the sign. Show off the sign. But it's high pitch wine. Uh, the XEGS is not hooked up because today is not the day for that. I will have to take away these, the 2600 and have the XEGS on one side and mm. the 7800 on the other side. be able to do this. Let's see. No, that's why it crashes. 
Oh my goodness, this cat is just hovering around the treat container. Is he? Yeah. Naughty, naughty cat. He's, he's not usually the one who's begging for treats. How's the sign doing? It's flashing and making high-pitched wine noises. Excellent. I've almost got it. Hurrah. No. Bad cat. Yes, you are. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Is there any packaging we have you can show off for some of them? Oh, I know. I can look at it online. That'll work. Do we ha not have packaging? N no. None of them? Oh, in person? Yeah. No. No, we don't. Oh, well, that's a shame. Unfortunately. <laughs> no, no. Packaging. There we go. Hallelujah. So I'll have to do it this way. Get over there. Get over there. And then, yeah, that'll work. Okay. This is not exactly in the right order, but uh, Dog on it is uh, for one of them. Here is the, I believe, the back of it. It has my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> A quote from me or a review. Dog on it delivers fast-paced gaming with fun cat-based power-up system. With its multi-screen action, dastardly dogs and in interactive environments, Andrew's first foray into the 2600 homebrew development keeps you engaged from beginning to end. Very nice. The amount of gameplay he's been able to pack into four games is astounding. Yes. Highly recommended. Not one word repeated. <laughs> um, that's packaged in as well. Nice. Um, you get a delivery exception notice. Which uh, I don't think is on our door right now. It ran away from your dog, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's That's the front yeah. of the packaging and some of the sides. This is what it actually looks like. Mm. Uh, with a little stamp on there. That's really cute. There's the cartridge. Nice. Very cute. Oh, and there it is all together. Just trying to open it. I know. Um, Daredevil. No. Oh, do for doggone it. Um, the illustrations were done by Charles Atkins and Herbie Holler did cartridge label, manual, and box design. Mm. This is Daredevil um, by Lewis Hill. The packaging, illustration, and design were done by Atari Boy 2600. Nice. So very, very traditional. Very retro. Like Activision? Yeah. yeah Activision-y. Yeah. yeah. Very colorful. I like that a lot, yeah. Um, there's the... Uh, cartridge as well showing the screenshot mm -hmm. very activision as well it's like this is what you actually get there's the back of the box okay, turn those off. uh ninjish guy in low res world by vladimir zuniga who does everything in his own games mm -hmm. he does his own music artwork packaging wow. everything start to finish he is very multi-talented very cool um there's the front there's the manual and the cartridge mm -hmm. Very, very clean cartridge. It says Atari Age, and there's VHZC. And there's the back of the box. One player! <laughs> uh, Robot City. Ooh, that's really nice. By Thomas Yench. Uh, oh, kitten. Mm, bad cat. He is. He really wants his treats. <laughs> uh, he just knocked over my class. There's nothing in it, but... Still doing it. <laughs> <gasps> There's no treats in it. Oh, my God. D David Exton uh, did illustration and manual design. Mm. Um, very different kind of design. Very, I like it, yeah. It's, it's like a painting, mm -hmm. almost. I like that style, Very yeah. desolate. <laughs> There's no hell. I guess y this is your view from the helicopter. Yeah, you're seeing the, the, tanks. the tanks on the ground, yeah. Yep. There's the cartridge. Nice. There's the back of the box showing the actual game. Mm -hmm. Five game variations, additional two-player assist mode. What? What? Is that new? Two-player assist mode? Yeah. That was not... We've never played two-player assist no, mode. No, maybe it's not in the version Interesting. you have. Interesting. Wow. Um, generated mazes for increased replay value. Generated mazes? I thought 
Oh, maybe he's added that to the final game. Maybe, yeah. We shall see. Yeah. Uh, Tower of Rebel mm -hmm. by Dion Elsthorn. Uh, Dave Drees, Dave Drees, label and box artwork. Uh, can somebody type out how you actually um, say his last name? Drees? Is it like a towel drying? Or didn't we get Dries? this? Didn't, didn't we get this? Uh, I'm sure we got it confirmed, yeah. but I've forgotten it. Yeah. So. I was, I, I'm pretty sure yeah. it's Dries. Not Dries, because it looks like, it's spelt like Dries. No. And Dries would be two E's. Not anyway, necessarily. Not necessarily, no. but phonetically. Mm. Uh, front of Tower of Rubble, with the uh, lightnings coming down, nice. destroying the blocks. Like the blowy nice eyes. Evil Tower. There's yeah, the cartridge. very contrasty colors. I like that. There's the uh, game being shown off there. Mm hmm. And the front of the box zoomed in on the back. And the cartridge there. Love the 3D look to the title. Yeah. Is he talking about this one? Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Very, very um, mm -hmm. three-quarter view 3D look mm -hmm. to it. And Zookeeper mm -hmm. by John Shampo. And the uh, packaging, illustrating design is by Nathan Strum. Nice. It's very cute. Very, very cartoony. I very like it. solid shade. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all the meese got, in the zoo. <laughs> it's got all the characters from the game. The <laughs> yeah. um, snake, the moose, uh, the that's camel. That's the camel, the moose, the, the elephant, elephant and the rhinos, and the, the lions. Lion. Oh, and it's got the second level <laughs> on there as well with the coconuts. <gasps> and uh, in the game, she really doesn't help you out with the monkeys very much. No, <laughs> she just sits there ah, at the top. Yeah. Oh, she's got two-tone dress. She's got green very inside. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, Little details. Yep, and the tree. It's cute. And some uh, details of. Um, that looks like Robot City. Robot City there. Yeah. Nice. I think I got all of it. Yeah. Yeah. So that is um, the packaging. Mm -hmm. That's another category you can vote in. Now we've covered that. Yes. So it's just eight bit and seventy eight hundred left which is next episode. Gotcha. And we have gotcha. some very, very cool episodes coming up. Let me get this back over here. Um, so, like I said, 8-Bit 7800 next episode, which is on Tuesday. Mm. And then the Saturday after that is February 6th at noon is the awards presentation mm. where we announce the winners. And talk to the winners. <laughs> and some also some special guests as well. Nice. Um, and then uh, about a week after that or so, I don't know when we're going to come back. Mm -hmm. I've scheduled for the 12th, which uh, I don't know what day that is. Let's see. Friday. So w just less than a week after that, we'll come back most likely unless mm -hmm. something else happens with all new homebrews again mm. which is very exciting i don't know if i'm going to do a 7800 show first or a 2600 show first i've got a 7800 scheduled right now mm. uh with an exclusive update on popeye 7800 we're going to play galaxian which we haven't played yet on okay. the show okay um and pac-man collection 40th anniversary edition and dragon's havoc those are tentative Nice, a lot of games. Yeah, and then a 2600 show, because we're kind of going back and forth and alternating. It's it's easier that way. I can just stick to one system. Um, Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days exclusive final binary wow. of that game. <laughs> Very exciting. We're going to get to play all the levels. Um, so I'm only scheduling three games for that show, because mm. that's going to be a lot of playing. Uh, we also have an exclusive update on Space Pac-Man. Okay. Which is Pac-Man falling from from the oh, sky. Oh, yes, 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 Ghosts yes. and Pac-Man. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it's almost already here. Yes, so start <laughs> your voting. Get your voting done. And I will get mine done soon as well. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably do that very shortly. Um, and we're going to go for a patch challenge in LEM. Uh, it's a 100,000 points we need for the patch. Um, before, when you bought it, it came with the patch. But the person who made the game actually established a number. They said, a eh, 100,000. Mm. So now there is a patch score for LEM. 
And it's also coinciding with the 2600 High Score Showdown Season 5. Um, so we'll be actually participating in two things at the same time. Uh, and then after that, we're going to play Dragon Hunt, Nose Hair, and Al Alia Quest. Uh, also part of the 2600 High Score Showdown Season 5. Mm -hmm. Um, and then 7800 games, Heartlight and Plink. And then sometime after that, we're going to have the Quadtari in the house. Yes. I do want three people here yep. for that. At least, yeah. So hopefully we'll work, restrictions. We'll work something out. Yeah. We'll work something out. Yeah. And restrictions will be lifted yeah. in uh, Vancouver. Mm. We'll see. Um, for that one, we're going to be playing Quad Games. Mm. which is the pack-in game uh, made specifically for the Quadtari. Cool. Uh, we're also going to be playing an unannounced game mm. that nobody has ever heard of and Ooh. nobody knows about. No one knows about that. That's exciting. Yes. And it is not from Champ Games. Because <laughs> <laughs> right now he is the only one who has a quad, besides the person who made the Quadtari, because mm. we're playing his quad games. So mm. him and... John Champo are the only two people who have uh, Quadtari games, but there is a third. Ooh, and we're going to be playing that game. That's exciting. So we'll see what that game is when it comes out. And we're going to be playing all the Quadtari supported games that, that, exist. that exist at the time as well. Nice. And if John Champo has another additional game by then, we'll play that too nice. to debut that as well. Nice. Should be a very, very exciting day. Yeah. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to having three or more people in the studio playing the quad tar. I really do want to get four in yeah. this possibility. If we have three, we could prob probably have four. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the developer spotlight on Bob DeCrescenzo, Pac-Man Plus. Yay! And that'll yeah. be in March, April, I think. Okay, cool. Yes. Cool. Um, so that's in the, in the distance. Plus some very exciting unannounced uh, shows that I can't talk about yet. I love... Two. Yeah, two secrets he can't tell you. Two secrets. I cannot announce them yet because I would give them away. Yeah. But they're big. They're really, really, mm. really, 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 really infinity. Big. <laughs> uh, play LEM on the plus card and save your high score. That's a great idea, actually. Yeah. I could talk about the... I think I have talked about the plus card and high scores, but we can do a proper demonstration. The only problem with that is I'm going to flood the high score oh yeah with all my high scores trying to get a hundred thousand oh, over yeah, and over yeah, again yeah. uh dan says i've got to play more of the games before i vote it is very good to make sure you do as much as you can yeah. play as much as you can you can also watch us play them if you don't yeah. have time and there are older episodes for a lot of these games where we yeah. do a much more thorough playthrough so. yeah if you want an extended view of them you yeah. can search on the Atari Age forums for when we mm -hmm. played it before. Mm -hmm. We usually try and beat it or just go, get to a very high level. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Mario says, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You can flood the high score. <laughs> like, it'll be a mess. Uh, but probably people do way better than me, so I, I won't even touch the top ten. Yeah. You'll just yeah. reach a point and it'll be all... So yeah, it's two, two weeks and one day away from the uh, awards show nice so yeah. it's it is coming up close i have to get a bunch of graphics done yeah miss command any update on your game i think the answer to that is no <laughs> zero progress it's been so busy the there's, last little while it's just been a, a ton of stuff yeah um a lot of fun shows coming up and the atari awards have been taking up every spare moment yeah i have to do a lot of graphics i have to make a nice intro like i usually do yeah a little fun intro mm. probably may not be as elaborate as last time depending on how much of time I have and what ideas I have. I've got some ideas floating around. But anyway, make sure you vote. Um, the voting ends... It's the 22nd today, so a week and two days it mm -hmm. ends. And then I uh, have to get all the winners informed so they can be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I have to add up all the scores. Actually, it's automatic adding them up, mm -hmm. which is nice. But I have to prepare all the graphics for... And I have to get you doing the voices again. Oh, jeez. Okay. Do that. Yep. It's not as many uh, Polish names. And I have the phonetic spelling. As long as I have the phonetic time. spelling, it's not so bad. But and, yeah. pe and people have uh, corrected us as time has yes, gone on. Yeah. So I've noted all the corrections. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Esther Mary's has voted. Excellent. 
Yay! Oh, last time was very cool. Well, thank you. We hope to do yeah, a great job this time. It'll be just us, most likely. Most likely. Yeah. Almost 100% We're likely. We're thinking that's probably, yeah, the case. Yeah. Um, but I sh it should still be fine. It'll just be a little slower with me clicking buttons and stuff. Mm. Yeah, Serena Foot. Vote early. Vote once. <laughs> One vote per person, per citizen. Yes, that's right. Even cats can vote if they could play, but they don't know. They, they had opposable which thumbs and could type on QWERTY keyboards. Yeah. yeah, don't vote often. Yes, please don't. Yeah. Amoeba jump, uh, jump on the plus card high score club is flooded. Yeah. I imagine so. Mm -hmm. It's Because it's a short game and people like playing bang, it too, bang, it's bang, just, bang. Yeah. just going to be tons and tons. And it yeah. doesn't cut off. It keeps every score. Every score? So they may uh, have to look they into may cutting keep it off. They may want to keep the top 100, 100. or something. Yeah. yeah. But... Hey, if they have the room, they can just keep going. <laughs> yeah, Amoeba Jump is a perfect game for the Plus Card mm -hmm. High Score Club because you can just get it in there really easy. Only in Chicago elections you vote often. Uh, don't talk about that. Um, I think that's it. Lots of fun coming up. Lots and lots. Mm -hmm. Um, lots, lots of games to play, big shows. Big shows coming up. Interviews. Yeah, interviews. That's awesome. Um, Portland's not happening this year again, right? Did they already say that? 2021? I don't think they have November. yet. No, that's way off. So I hope it does happen. I hope so, too. Um, that would be really, really nice. Because it should be. They put out the schedule yesterday. Or today. For what? For the shots. For BC. Oh, really? Yeah, all the way out. The vaccine, the really? The vaccines, yeah. Good. We're in the last category. Of course, of course. <laughs> not old enough. No, and um, not compromised, which is a good thing, but, you know. We're in, like, phase four, part four. Really? Or five, yeah. Because oh it goes at five years at a time. Oh, does it? It's yeah. really broken up, then. Yeah, phase four is, like, 60 and younger, or 60. 55 and younger phase four and then it's every five years like so five, 55 yeah, 50 yeah. 50 to 4 45 45 to 40 40, 40 to yeah. 35 so we're like, like that. in that in that range we're old but just not old yeah enough. exactly yeah, yeah. Not quite old enough not to quite get old in enough to get in nice and early no. uh, you know what i'd be just happy if my parents get it as soon as possible <laughs> exactly so, who are in their 70s and not in our province so i'm not sure when they're supposed to get it but um so the Houston one is yeah. announced. Oh, okay. November it, seems far enough away. Like It seems reasonable. Very reasonable. Yeah. I think if stuff that's in the summer might be a little bit nah, more iffy. Too dodgy. I know in Canada, everyone's supposed to be vaccinated by September. Yeah. At least that's their goal. We're July to July September. Yeah, okay. Or July to end of August or something. So basically we're in the last cohort of people, right? Yeah, yeah. so August... September, if it, I mean, it, how that's quickly it rolls worst. out. Yeah, that's their plans. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, like Midwest Gaming Classic in Wisconsin is also in November. November yeah, and I think also the Port Portland Portland's Archer October Game. usually, right? Late October. I can't remember, but it's yeah. around that time too. So hopefully, um, it's, it's on. It's, it's there's a possibility. Hopefully, we yeah. can go, and hopefully, a lot of you out there, yeah, can go as well, and we'll yeah. bring Pixel. No. Houston would be fun, Pretty but it's excellent. a little too far, and I'm not sure about flying. <laughs> yeah, because we drive down. We can drive to Portland, so that, that And we makes like it... driving down there. It's six hours. It's not a bad drive, yeah. And there's lots of places and to there, stop. And if you feel like it, you know, you can spend a night in Seattle or something. And, and we yeah. like staying in Portland for a couple days. Yeah, and, yeah. And we like being there for the whole event. Yeah. With a day on each side or whatever. Yeah, like it's nice just and to And by the time that comes around, we will want vacations. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Long vacations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, so I think that's it. I think so. Yep. Moved PRG to August this past year. Yeah, this past year, but then it didn't but go I've, forward. It didn't happen. So, so I've, I don't they know. They may if push it again. In, I, I August, think, I don't think that's good if idea. If I'm not mistaken, they wanted November, but it was booked because they tried to book yes. it too late, so they had to settle for August. Somebody booked way ahead of them. Yeah. Uh, oh, crossbow can't make Portland. Yeah, well, he says it's just too expensive for the distance, and I think that's it. I mean, there's yeah. lots of shows all over the place. There is, yeah. Um, it's just the biggest one. So it's, people it's definitely, yeah, or one of the biggest in, um, in North America, anyway. But yeah, I mean, if we're just lucky that it's not far from yeah. us, yeah, very, very lucky. It's a reasonable. No, 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 no. A reasonable drive. No. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a reasonable time. Better time of year weather-wise. Yeah, I mean, it's better in August. But uh, they'll probably push it because August won't be good. No, no. So hopefully it'll be around the same time. Yeah. Fingers crossed. So thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. S. Ramirez, a crossbow, arena foot, Dan AVC, Metal Lunar 7, Captain Classic, Carl G, Miss Command, Flackets, uh, Blank Sleazy, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. uh, new name there. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Mm, Great Defender. MCP90, Ricardo nice. Pym. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, Cafe Man 2D, do we say that? I can't remember. Armscar Coder, <laughs> Flackets. Yeah. Oh, that's the top of the yeah. typey type people. Excellent. Good show today. Well, thank you very much. PRG is more sales. HAG is more free play. Yeah. Ah, oh, now, that's PRG neat. has a pretty decent... Um, number of arcade games and pinball i think it's pretty good yeah i mean it's not as big as some of the other ones but the vending area is huge is, is massive very very big yeah. which is sort of less and less relevant now because it's harder to find things but and the speakers there's lots of speakers lots of speakers yeah which is great yeah i mean yeah. there's ones that go every year and do the same show yeah so you once you've seen them you get to actually it's good because then you get to see the other people the yeah. next year yeah yeah uh, visited Portland in late July. Sunny skies, no rain. Yeah. yeah. Great, Great arcade. arcade. Uh, yeah. Worth going well, for Well, maybe that one year. year we'll go to Houston. Yeah, go to Houston instead of Portland if they're around the same time. Not instead of Portland. Well, well if they're Never around the same time. Never instead of Portland. <laughs> Portland's as a they city's They seem very awesome. close to each other. That's the only thing. In like, time. Yeah. yeah. And also for me... You could drive down and then drive over. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, drive over. That seems a bit of a distance, Texas. Um, Kidding. No. Come over here. Um, so that's it for us. Mm -hmm. uh, cat hair in my mouth. Uh, we'll be back on Tuesday. Excellent. Yep. For wrapping up the nominees. And then the show after that yeah. is the awards. Very exciting. Coming up really quick. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Enjoy and your weekend. We will see you on Tuesday. Yes. Have a good night all. Have a good night. Pixel says good night too. There he is. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Now Pixel comes and shows himself off. Oh, we'll go back to him. There he is. This is for the YouTubes. So I've already stopped the stream. Bye. <laughs>